So a day after a photo posted by the Princess of Wales on Mother's Day blew up the internet, forcing her to admit, or at least the palace to admit, she had supposedly edited it. Sources close to Harry and Meghan say if it had been them who had done the same thing, they would have been annihilated. Photo agencies, you might remember, pulled this image moments after it was released, citing suspicion it had been doctored. As many as 16 different edits have been highlighted to this picture, and it comes a suspicion over... Uh, Catherine's whereabouts, the Princess of Wales, continues to grip the public both at home and abroad. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Royal Commentator Kinsey Schofield, who's having a blockbuster moment, I'm sure, talking about this. The whole world's eyes are on this one, Kinsey. Um, just to start with, though, what do you make of the comments that if this had been Harry and Meghan, uh, they would not have been given the grace and forgiveness that others have shown to the Waleses? Well, I mean, I think what we've seen over the last four years is that Harry and Meghan put a lot of effort into that the Hollywood gloss, uh, into highly produced content. And the way that the Princess of Wales uh, constructed this photo to me is no different than the way that Harry and Meghan have, you know, reconstructed the, the, their lives through Netflix and and tried to manipulate the way that we tell their story through some of their projects that they've done. And Rosanna, I know you've seen some of the, the magazine covers here in the United States with Prince Harry on them. They go crazy photoshopping his hair, the, the top of his head. I mean, it's it's headlines all over the world about how they photoshop Prince Harry and the way they look here in the States on some of these entertainment magazines. I think that this is an issue because uh, it becomes a historical event when these photo agencies um, pull a photo and it's a member of the royal family and that's never been done before. But the fact of the matter is this happens all over the world. This happens in Hollywood every single day. And Meghan and Harry are guilty of photoshopping trees in the back of their images and, and, and very similar things th than this. They just aren't caught doing it because they're better at it. Well, <laughs> that, that is one thing. The other being, of course, that they're kind of ex-royals. They're no longer working in the family, whereas the Welleses are working. And, you know, William is next in line to the throne. He's the heir. Uh, Princess Catherine will uh, ideally one day become the queen as well. She's ill. She's asked for privacy or recovery from surgery. But questions remain. So when you release a, a clearly doctored photo, you're going to invite some scrutiny, surely? I agree. I just think that she didn't realize how poorly her Photoshop skills were, unfortunately. I do think that when you have downtime, you increase your screen time. And she's probably spent more time on her computer and on her cellular telephone and, and probably thought her skills were much more... Uh, that she probably thought she was much more talented than she unfortunately is when it comes to Photoshop. I think this was an innocent mistake. I think that um, she wanted to release the okay. best possible photo because she knows people were eager to see her and her children. It's hard to wrangle three babies in, a, in one photo and get clear, fun expressions. And I don't think that there was anything malicious about this or as American media has been asking Kins me repeatedly, Kinsey. sinister. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, do you really believe that Kate was sat in her recovery bed editing these, this photo on her phone or on her computer? Oh my gosh. Do, you, do you believe I, the lie? I do, because it's what I do. I, I, I mean, I take away at least three chins before every Instagram <laughs> upload. I mean, it's, it's like a priority for me that I make sure that everything is perfect. And she might be insecure after being away for a few months and knowing, I mean, was this a disaster? Absolutely. I don't think this was choreographed well. Uh, but I also think that why would you put yourself out there? Why would you take responsibility for this and humiliate yourself on such a public level when you're in a position to blame the intern and make it all go away, to take responsibility and put all of this pressure right back on you and on your shoulders? I mean, that's that's a class act. You're either crazy or you are one of the most moral individuals that I've come across lately. We shall find out in due course. It's always good talking to you. Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield, thank you.